This is the Trademark TV here, back for another video. See, what we do, yeah, we get the old shirt in the old life, like having an old shirt that's ripped to bits, yeah, and we patch it up, yeah, with with the new life. We put patches of new life on the shirt. I don't know why we do that. We shouldn't patch up the old life. We should take the old the old shirt and throw it away. We shouldn't worry about patching, patching the life up. We do that, we patch over the old life. We do it all. We take the old life and try and patch it up with with new bits of, old, of a new shirt. We shouldn't do that. We shouldn't do that. Or we sew it up, yeah, so, so the old life is still there. We shouldn't do that. We should throw the old life away and and uh, and not do that. We should throw the whole, whole the old shirt out that's ripped and torn and t in tatters, right? And start with a new, start with a fresh, a whole new look, right? And a whole new out, like buy a whole new outfit when you go when you go to a wedding or something. A whole new outfit. You got you got to go to the, buy a new clothes, right? Throw the old life out and then start afresh. You go. You can't. You can't suddenly say, oh, "I'm gonna." Repent the word of God by by repenting the old life. You gotta get the old life out. The old life's gotta go. You can't you can't not li leave the old life with you, right? And patch it up every so often, like mending a puncher a puncher on a on a tire on an old tire on a on a bike. You uh you 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 patch it up. No. Never patch up. Never patch up. Always buy, always buy a new, a new tire or a new piece of clothing. You feel a lot better in it as well. You do an all a new life. Don't patch up the old one, the old one you've been, you've been with for years. Patch up the new one. Get the new one going. Right. Start afresh. Start as you mean to go on. Right. As I always say, start with Jesus. Stay with Jesus. End with Jesus. Right. End with him forever. With Jesus, his word. End with Jesus, his word. Jesus is the only son of God. He stands up for us. He died on the cross 2,000 years ago to repent our sins. Right? He's whipped and beaten for our sins. Right? Stay, start with Jesus, stay with Jesus, and end with the bloke. End with the word of God. Right? And then you'll feel a lot better as well. Start with a new piece of clothing as well. A new piece of life. A new piece of clothing, right? A new jacket, or a new, or a new pair of trousers, or a new T-shirt, or a, or a new, or a new, uh, or a new, a new hoodie, or a new cap. Put the cap, cap on, and it says on the top of the cap, "This is the word of God, the word from God." And on the back of it, it say, two thousand years ago, God died. God died for us." God died on the cross two thousand years ago to repent our sins. He is on the back in a square in a square passage, right? And when you get the jack the, the new T-shirt on, he say, "This is the word from God, the only Son, the only Son of God who saved us two thousand years ago." And that and that'll be the word of God, and that will show us we can do this. We are back to right. <coughs> <coughs> And say, I shall not go down. <coughs> I shall not go down. I shall rise above, rise above evil. I shall rise above my my problems. I shall fight another day. I shall live until time will allow. I shall take life as it comes. <coughs> I will never let life get me down and I'll never trust the word of the devil. I'll trust the word of the Lord, the Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, our Father, the one and only one and only Son of God. I will trust him and I'll never let I'll never leave his side. And I would and I will stay with him till the time will allow. And I will never let leave his side. Amen.